Hi, so this is a very brief video about how to manage COVID-19 and what are the treatment options and uh, what to do if you, are, if you got po uh, tested positive with COVID-19, what the current science say, uh, the evidence say about uh, how to manage the COVID-19. And in this brief video, I'm also going to bust several hawks and uh, myths and fake news and propaganda about uh, uh, you know this uh, COVID-19 treatment. Uh, you know and of course uh, how to manage COVID-19 so what works let's first see what works so you know so uh, of course this summary is based on the summary video I've linked up in the YouTube section of Dr. Zareer Udwadia very famous physician from Hinduja Hospital in the Mumbai a well respected name for the COVID-19 modern medical intervention and managing the COVID-19 so anticoagulants definitely seem to help and are non-controversial you know the anticoagulant uh, Tamil Nadu did it way long back in 2020 uh, after the instructions from Professor Gagandeep Kang, you know, in the CMC Valor. Yeah, it, it's, it, it works. So that is what the science says. And that is also, I mean, the summary of this uh, Dr. Zareer Udwadia is quite similar to the summary of the Mayo Clinic uh, in the US. Pro probably he picked up from the Mayo Clinic website. So anticoagulants are uh, uh, non-controversial. It's really, uh, I mean, it works, okay? Because the reason is that the COVID-19 uh, makes lots of, uh, you know, these uh, uh, clots, blood clots, especially in the lungs. Uh, you know, these microscopic clots and the, the terms like D-dimer, the protein D-dimer, I don't want to uh, uh, speak more on these kind of jargons. This is a simple science com video. So these super small, uh, clots we need to bust it so that is what uh, the anticoagulants are really useful for uh, treating the COVID-19 patients especially uh, those which need the ventilator by the way uh, these all these interventions are only for those uh, that needs uh, some uh, you know the the, uh, the support oxygen support not really ventilator but also for uh, medical grade oxygen supply so if you have really trouble with the breathing then you would need all these interventions otherwise uh, you know, uh, you better get consulted, but uh, the, the medical interventions are not that important. Another very important thing is dexamethasone or steroids. So several of the steroids can uh, help, you know. So there is also uh, Gagandeep Kang has uh, said early on in Tamil Nadu, you know, the, the importance of this steroid for this uh, treatment. You know, so it, it, it seems to help, but it can hurt in case of early stage patients who don't need any respiratory support. So if you don't have any breathing problems, so don't uh, take this kind of uh, uh, steroid because steroids have got very bad uh, side effects. Right. It can save if you if you really need uh, the oxygen supplementation, but otherwise you don't need it. Right. So patients initiated on the dexamethasone in week two of symptoms see most benefit. So don't take in mild cases and don't take too early. Anyway, all these uh, instructions are not for the patients. Uh, of course, it can help you on better decision making, you know. So, delayed remdesivir, if given quite early to the patients on the oxygen, helps with the recovery time, uh, but no impact on the fatality rate. So, recovery time and fatality rate are quite different, you see. So, it's kind of controversial, the use of uh, remdesivir. The WH itself is saying that it, it might not help you know, Remdesivir, famous drug by Jaleed. So, uh, as for the Mayo Clinic and WHO as well, Remdesivir plus baricitinib, both are, uh, you know, this uh, antiviral, uh, synthetic anti antiviral compound. So, it can uh, help you uh, to get a bit more. And inhaled interferon may also help you uh, to, to get out of the COVID-19 a bit. So interferon alpha and from beta via nebulizer SNG001 is a formulation, you see, that is uh, the interferons that can, uh, you know, that can help you out of this, uh, uh, this one, COVID-19. So this is uh, administered through the nebulizer and that is where a lot of fake news coming that nebulizer can be used in place of oxygen. No, that is a fake news. And also Jaleed Remdesivir, the name Jaleed sounds like uh, the plant. You know, so that is why many people are saying that uh, that particular plant uh, can be used for uh, protecting from uh, run to severe. No, it doesn't. 
I will come to it in a short while. So yeah, inhaled interferon may help a, a little bit, you know, though those, these are actually antiviral interferon. So favipavir may help a bit. It actually inhibits a DNA dependent uh, RNA polymerase. So basically it's a very key enzyme for RNA viruses. You know, so this particular uh, thing. So this is basically a drug commonly used for influenza in Japan, you know, to manage the influenza uh, viral uh, disease, you know, so of course a viral disease influenza. So in the Japanese of often use this uh, Farivi Pivarir. So this particular drug can be used for managing the COVID-19 uh, bit, you know. So of course this is from the US FDA's recommendation of this uh, Remdesivir plus Baricitinib. This combination uh, treatment can uh, save you the time you spent on uh, in the in the hospital you know so it can actually tremendously reduce the number of days but uh, of course uh, it's kind of controversial does it really save you from death you know so that is what uh, the current options are now what works uh, other other things that works is bamlanivilabab and web. you know so this is also recommended by the mayo clinic so these uh, two uh, combination treatment uh, as well as casirivimab uh, and imdevimab so all these drugs have got mab ending you see mab mab means monoclonal antibody see these are nothing but synthetic proteins yeah uh, you know the the lab made proteins which are immune system uh, modulators so it actually can uh, uh, you know target the virus and attack the viral particles and kill it so these are monoclonal antibodies are pretty expensive. Unfortunately, we don't have any of these and maybe it's in India as per my understanding. And yeah, I mean, this is, uh, yeah, this this works. That is what the Mayo Clinic, just check it out. All these links are in the show notes of this video too, you know. And supportive care, very, very important. Pain relievers like ibuprofen, acetaminophen, you know, uh, paracetamol or uh, uh, acetaminophen can help you. All right so in case you have uh, uh, the pain you take it otherwise don't take it and of course a lot of uh, fake news coming that this kind of paracetamol is dangerous if the covid-19 case no it's it's a myth my clinic has already busted that myth cough syrup or medication if you have the cough take it and cough syrup is also kind of uh, you know uh, 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 contradictory right some people say the cough syrup doesn't help but if it helps why not if the lukewarm water helps you take it no problem. If the ice cream uh, helps you, take it. So, you know, it's nothing like, nothing is dangerous really. Ice cream is also not dangerous. A, a cup of coffee is also not dangerous. Or lukewarm water. Lukewarm water or coffee. Coffee is, uh, or tea. Indian chai is a bit more uh, hot or warm than a lukewarm water, right? So, why not? Have a cup of tea or coffee if you like it. No problem. Nothing is going to harm you. Ice cream also not going to harm you, okay? And rest, take adequate rest. That's really, really important for managing the COVID-19. The number one recommendation would be take adequate rest. And take enough fluid. Now, I mean, that's applicable for all kind of disease. Drink enough water, you know. Don't skip water, especially now we are entering to uh, tough uh, summer days. So fluid intake is really, really important, okay. And other uh, home practices include the healthy uh, meals, you know, of course, the nutrition is really important, especially if you're single, uh, you know, and if you get tested positive, uh, seek help, ask your friends to help you. No, don't, don't be shy. You know, many people, I know that many of my friends in the eye, they suffer silently. Why they, you have to suffer silently? Take help from your friends and family or uh, neighbors, no problem, okay? You can pay it back once you get well. Get enough sleep, really important. For any kind of viral disease, sleep is really important. Get physical activity if you are able to do it, like using exercise or yoga video, stretching, why not? And if you're healthy, go out for outside for a walk. Uh, of course, you have to uh, follow uh, all these quarantine measures. Uh, going out might not be applicable for you if you're living in a uh, city. And uh, you don't have to go out also. You can walk inside your home, you know, uh, if you are positive, uh, if uh, going out is not possible, you can walk inside. So sedentary lifestyle actually increases the risk of serious COVID-19 ramifications. And try relaxation exercise like deep breathing, stretching and meditation. Yeah, uh, you know, deep breathing, of course, that, that will help you uh, to get better with uh, all this managing and stress relieving. The stress is a big problem, you see. To relieve the stress, having is also very good. Having trick. I've uh, said this, having is just like, test. Uh, you know, it's like embracing yourself like this, what I'm doing. 
calm and relaxed like this uh, happening I've uh, released a few videos on the happening also no just check it out that is a very good form to relax yourself and uh, you know boost a little bit of the uh, you know calming uh, oxytocin for example that uh, hormones you know so I mean uh, yeah it helps if it works for you why not take it and connect with friends and family that's really important uh, through the, the phone or video calls you know uh, take a, a whatsapp call or a skype call talk with your family connected or zoom call you can have a, a virtual meeting with others no problem <laughs> you know and avoid uh, watching or reading too much because it can strain and uh, social media also try to uh, take a you know f a social media fasting for quite some time so that can help you to get well you know the mental uh, uh, you know the mental well-being is really important in times of trouble like in COVID-19 and do activities that you enjoy like reading a book or watching a funny movie why not you know enjoy it uh, it's a time for you to get adequate rest right and what doesn't work so tocilizumab doesn't seem to help real risk of sepsis you know that is also a monoclonal antibody it doesn't work and plasma therapy another very important fake news i mean it's people are not informed you see uh, the cpt the the uh, convalescent plasma therapy does not seem to help so the things are fast changing earlier the cpt is a common practice like if you are recovered from covid 19 donating your plasma you know for those who are ill they can get that plasma from a recovered patient in a belief that uh, recovered patients must be having this uh, antibodies against the, co the coronavirus so that is a form of a treatment you know but it doesn't seem to help that is what the evidence says so cpt is not used in uh, most of the western countries but we still use it here so think about it so you know the, the, the plasma donation might not help and antibiotics like azithromycin or uh, you know doxycycline do not seem to help because it's a viral disease come on it's a, it's a common sense secondary infections uh, for that you need a uh, antibiotic but otherwise uh, for viral disease like covid-19 uh, you know this kind of antibiotics is not an answer okay ivermectin is also doesn't seem to help the, a lot of news is coming the ivermectin is gr great for covid-19 no it doesn't seems to help at all and also hcq the hydrochloroquine you know that is also no impact uh, world health organization itself is now recommending uh, not use the hcq or cdc too you know earlier days uh, we thought that hcq uh, could be great for the covid-19 but now we know that it doesn't have an impact and antivirals like lopinavir does not seem to help you know so you know just trust on the evidence evidence based medicine right and giloy and other home remedies that is what i was saying gilead life science is what they are producing this remdesivir so gilead is a company name it's it's it has nothing to do with giloy you know the giloy herb this is a very uh, fake news i came across through my academy the young academy friends are sharing this uh, over the whatsapp no hawks and fake news friends stop trusting all this media all this uh, fake news like uh, jiloy stem or tulsi leaf or papaya leaf or haldi in hot cow milk daily in the night uh, you know so come on it doesn't actually it's not a remedy and stop doing this kind of uh, self-treatment get tested from a qualified medical professional and undergo what the science say the evidence based science. none of this has got any evidence Right. I mean, if you enjoy a nice, uh, you know, haldi, for example, the haldi is nothing but turmeric. I love turmeric. I love this uh, coconut water. I mean, if I like it, uh, there is no harm in having it. Ice cream. I love ice cream. So if I get COVID-19, having ice cream is not a big deal. If I love a cup of uh, uh, black coffee, I love black coffee. There's no harm in having black coffee, you know. So whatever you like, you can have it. But that is different from preaching others that this is effective remedy against COVID-19. Or it, uh, it can boost your immunity from getting COVID-19. These are the fake news that can potentially harm someone else's life. Stop uh, doing this nonsense. You know, it's actually stupidity, friends. And uh, of course, the ICMR has uh, done, uh, uh, you know, the, the treatment scenario. This is a very good chart. I linked up in the show notes of this video. Please have a look what the ICMR circulation is. So if you zoom it in, uh, you know, they classified the COVID-19 into three groups, mild, moderate and severe. So this is all about the SpO2 level. That is basically oxygen saturation level inside the blood, which you can measure with the oximeter, blood oximeter, which is pretty cheap. You can buy from a chemist shop or from online too, you know. So it can actually measure by looking at the light, you know, the wavelength. 
uh, that is how this uh, the machine works of course it's very important to calibrate the machine easiest way uh, one of my friend uh, iron uh, uh, you know dr iron from isam uh, kolkata he shared it the easiest way to calibrate is just take this one and put in a small baby uh, you know infants or uh, a, ch a child if you have it so you know the ch children have got very good spo2 level and the children's spo2 level itself is very low that means that you know it is uh, the machine doesn't work it's not properly calibrated don't trust it so if it's properly calibrated then uh, this chart can help you so mild disease means from 95 to 93 spo2 so less than 95 is tough you really need attention you know so more than 95 or 96 is uh, uh, perfectly fine you know so again don't take it uh, like uh, you know if, if it's like 96 is absolutely fine now if you have breathing problem it's a time for you to consult a doctor and if you get ever uh, diagnosed positive in RT-PCR or antigen test you should consult a doctor and start treatment you know qualified medical the modern medical professionals I hate the term allopathy that itself is a, a derogatory term but yes uh, you know the modern medical professionals you should get uh, the, the treatment you know so mild disease means uh, it's between 93 to 95 and moderate disease means uh, you know 90 to 93 while severe disease means less than 90 less severe is less than 90 means you really need an ICU I would say you know and of course admit in ICU this one moderate disease admit in the ward while mild disease is home isolation and qu quarantine and care you know so check it out this uh, particular is very useful the AIMS and ICMR has released uh, this uh, chart no fake news here you know and stop spreading the fake news like Jaloy come on it doesn't help at all right and oxygen fake news also so many of it's a deluge of fake news through this uh, whatsapp group you know I'm really sh ashamed I would say of my friends in Yai why do you have to spread these lies and fake news friends uh, for example alternative medicines can boost the blood level like homeopathic medicines can boost the blood level you don't need a, a artificial blood support you just need to take that medicine no it does not if this works then why the government has to spend money on the oxygen supply and ox you know ox ox oximeter and uh, all this uh, uh, medical grade oxygen nebulizer can be used in place of oxygen supply no it's a, it's funny come on nebulizer is very different it's for asthma and other copd and other diseases right uh, it's it's to administer the medicine inside your lung that is what the nebulizer is it, it doesn't have any impact on the oxygen it actually I would say oxygen will be decreased because it, it mixed with the water you know the oxygen level would be less if you take nebulizer in place of oxygen supply please don't do it and don't spread this fake news friends inhalers like rota cap or fora cord can be used in place of oxygen supply no it doesn't fora cord and rota cap you know these are inhalers for I told you for asthma to, to put this uh, you know this uh, medicine like the, the rota cap itself is a medicine you know to get this inhaler is not a substitute for medical oxygen if your spo2 is less than uh, 90 the only way is you need oxygen you know if you don't get oxygen uh, you know none of this will work friends you are potentially endangering your life don't try any of this you should get admitted in ICU and get proper oxygen you know and air conditioner increases oxygen level it's funny no it doesn't uh, of course air conditioner can decrease the temperature and that's it it can make you feel good if you you enjoy the, the you know the little bit cool uh, weather in the, uh, in this uh, summer hot summer days other than that extrapolating and saying that a simple uh, you know air conditioner is a magic amulet for the oxygen supply <laughs> no it's a fake news friends stop it it can if you spread this kind of lies you're potentially endangering someone else's life think about it we have a very small lifetime you know it's like a flickering it's like butterfly uh, the famous metaphor uh, by uh, Carl Sagan my favorite author we are like a butterfly a flick of second we live in the vast expanses of the space age you know the space time and still instead of spending your energy on educating the people and saving others life you're spreading these lies to kill others come on what you're wasting your life stop doing this uh, thing you know and burn camphor or cow dung to increase oxygen come on it's a common sense if you ever uh, you know took a, a science lesson in your school uh, you know the, then you know it 
to burn anything you need oxygen you know anything if you burn it incense sticks to it reduces oxygen from the atmosphere because by burning it uh, you you're taking up the oxygen if you burn camphor in in a closed space it not only takes up the oxygen but also increases the exhaust you know carbon monoxide is being produced by anything that burns the, the, the carbon when you burn the carbon carbon monoxide is extremely risky friends you know don't do it uh, maybe people who failed in science in school are for spreading this nonsense. Come on, apply the logic. Apply, trust the science. And don't trust the pseudoscience. This is really important at this time. You know, and stop spreading this nonsense, friends. And yes, so that is what uh, I hope this video has been useful to you. This is the most important thing is follow the government regulations. ICMR, trust what ICMR says. You know, and mistrust these pseudoscience advocates and uh, propagandas. Uh, you know, they want to uh, spread the lies to kill others. So please stop it. We, our lifetime, I told you the Carl Sagan, you know, uh, very flickering moments that we have in our planet Earth. Sp spend the time wisely, friends. Uh, be humble and uh, help someone else's life if you can. If you like this video, please click thumbs up and please share it in your groups and do subscribe to my channel and please take care and if you can please take care of someone else too that can save someone else's life and thanks for watching and please have a good day and take care bye bye